<laughs> well, hello everybody. <laughs> we are back. Um, we had a little bit of the mic wasn't plugged in. <laughs> a technical difficulty. <laughs> yes, a technical difficulty. But we are back. So I hope to see everybody join again. So I hope you guys can hear us. I'm gonna go to the chat and make sure. Yay! Yay. Thank, you okay. Thank you for letting we us know. We would have just know. continued back. on. Really. Yeah, I'm just glad that. Yeah, I looked over for a second in the comments. <laughs> we were about to just keep going, <laughs> just keep rolling. But again, we are back, and just to sort of start out with what I had said before, um, it's good to see you guys. I had seen some hellos and from you know England, saw Pastor Brian, and and uh, a lot of our friends here. I see the network uh, in here, so good to see you. And we have our graduates. That's and right. So <laughs> let's let's go back to where we were at. Absolutely. So a huge congratulations to these two grads. We have two bachelor degrees, as we said. So a bachelor of Christian leadership for Widens Pierre and Woo-hoo! Joseph Campbell with his two bachelor of divinity. So Love it. those are posted on the network. So make yes. sure to wish them a Pop congratulations in. there, read yeah, the testimony. And yeah, so for those of you who are on the network, and if you're watching mm-hmm. this as a recording, we encourage you to check out the network as there has been a new update. There's yes. a little bit of a new look going on. Um, pretty much the navigation and everything should be the same, but right. just a yeah. huge thank you to Pastor Rudy for facilitating that and updating yes, images absolutely. and colors where needed. So very exciting. And yes. you know, this is a great place for fellowship. So we're excited that the network is evolving as well. Yes. Yeah, so again, thank you. And as you've been seeing on our dashboard. We've been doing Advents. I hope you guys have been logging in every day to your student account just to kind of see what's new and what's being featured. But we are going to recap some of that as we're going through here. But one of the things related to Christmas that we want to share with you guys is our live Christmas event that is coming Tuesday, December 20th at 12 p.m. That's Eastern time. Mm -hmm. And so we hope to see you guys tuning in. We have that posted in the events within the network. Um, But we'll also be emailing some more and reminding on the next news as well. But we're super excited to be able to go live. And um, yeah, we've got some fun things in store for that. So just stay tuned and we hope to see you guys at that event. Definitely. So let's do our update on um, our monthly operations. So we're kicking off December strong. This is data from December 1st through 8th. So not even counting today, we have almost $19,000 raised. So just a huge thank you to everyone who's been a part of that for funding um, almost 15% of that $128,000 budget. And this is linked on your dashboard and you can donate through that and keep track with our progress this month. Yes, thank you guys so much. Um, We're also excited uh, to kind of, this was on the Advent dashboard, but we have a new praise um, class. So it's just a mini course on intro to praise. And this is by one of our graduates actually of Christian Leaders College. So I wanna thank you, Greg, for putting this together. And you know, I've had the opportunity to talk to him many times on the phone and uh, kind of brainstorm and, and kind of visualize what this could look like. And he just did an exceptional job and his knowledge and just, again, that God honoring desire that he has throughout the course is is wonderful. So thank you, Greg. And uh, yeah, check it out, guys. I think you're going to love it. Yeah, he has a really awesome perspective because it gets kind of into some more of the instruments, like what music looks like. But he also comes from like a bit of a management and business background, too. So there's kind of both those pieces, which are really important in, you know, conducting this in a church or whatever venue you're in. So you get some really good perspectives there. So yeah, make sure to check that out. And it will be, it has been linked on the dashboard, but we'll be sure to link it below as well. We also had a little bit of a sale that was on your dashboard yesterday. Um, So we've got some of our new logo apparel. So any of the merch with our new logo is 35% off right now. So check out that. Look at that coupon code surprise sale 35. These would make some good Christmas gifts. I just have to say. Yes, absolutely. Um, So check that out and go ahead and take advantage of that coupon code at our store. Yeah. All right. So we have talked about Soul Centers a little bit, right, Abby? And we were excited about the launch of the course that kind of walks you through Mm -hmm. it, of the website where their directory will be listed. So today we just wanted to touch base on this again and encourage you to check out the course on Moodle if you haven't yet. It'll kind of give you an overview of what Soul Centers are, Mm -hmm. what the steps will look like. Um, But you can also check out the website too. And we just wanted to click over to this link and show you a little bit about what it's looking like, um, what you can kind of expect. 
exactly. shout out to Pastor Brian and my dad who are yeah. both here as they've been <laughs> kind of really taking on this Soul Center for our Alliance alumni. So yeah, let's pop over there. Yeah, here we are. So this is where the directory will live. And you can kind of see on this page the different categories for the Soul Centers. Um, you know, you can click to any of those or you can just view all the listings. So this is what the directory page will look like. So each listing kind of has their own box here. You can read a brief summary about the offerings, what the Soul Center is about, um, where they're located. You know, they can link their um, page so you can learn more and get in contact with them. So yeah, really exciting to see yeah. this page starting to populate. You know, we have Soul Centers already from all over the country and the world. So just a really cool testimony to what this is shaping up to be. And, you know, just an amazing testimony. Yeah, it's really cool to to see these yeah. listings. <laughs> I know, I love it. And just seeing, again, our alumni who they've gone through that Soul Center, they've talked on the phone and, and yeah. really gotten to share what God is doing in their life and how he is using them to just touch people in different ways um, in their local community or online. Some of you have online ministries too. And so it's just, it's a really, really wonderful thing to be able to yeah, go over there and see some of the stuff that's populating. So sure. we're going to link that course again. Uh, a prerequisite for that is to be an alliance, um, you know, Know, graduate in some shape or form, be it wedding officiant or licensed or ordained, but being within our alliance um, and then going into that course and looking through that. And of course, you can go there just to kind of read what it is and see if the ministry that you're doing really fits into that category right. of a soul center. Yeah, for sure. Very exciting. All right. So we have our advent at the end, but here we are at the joke of the day. So I have another right. winter themed one for you. Oh, like, let's get ready right like on your keyboards. I want to see the guesses <laughs> coming. All right, so who is Frosty the Snowman's favorite relative? Oh, <laughs> uh, like... I feel like you can get this one. <laughs> oh, no. That's like you're <laughs> sure. I'll set you up for failure. <laughs> yeah, you should set me up. Okay. No, no, um, do you Anyone know who the guest is? I want to say, like, I was just thinking, like, oh, I don't know, <laughs> like... Like, not a Rudolph thing. Like, we're not getting down no. that trail. Yeah. No guesses? Right. All right. Here Can't it is. It. Antarctica. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. For Antarctica. All right. That's great. Oh, I love that one. All right. So last week um, we, you know, started on this kind of Advent candle um, theme, right, as our encouragement. So um, the second Advent candle is the candle of faith um, and some do the candle of peace. So we'll kind of touch on both those those pieces today. So when it's the candle of faith, this is another purple candle. It is called the Bethlehem candle, and it's a reminder of Joseph and Mary's journey to Bethlehem. So these two verses here, um, one from Isaiah that's also referenced in Mark yeah. says, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low, the rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed and all people will see it together. I love that. Like, as you're kind of talking about this candle of faith, you know, I just like if you put yourself in what it would have been like to have to be Mary and Joseph and just the amount of faith that entire thing. I mean, from the angel visiting Mary mm -hmm. all the way to him going, OK, like having that dream yeah. and, and then traveling while she's so pregnant. Like, right. <laughs> too bad. Yeah. Like, and when you whoa. read this, this Luke verse, it's like it's so abrupt. They were just like all right, we're going, we're doing yes, this. Yep. Like, what so, crazy. I'll read that. So yeah. Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house in the line of David. And he went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. And so, yeah, um, you know, part of that was, of course, they were needing to do that. Right. But it's just cool to see that, just that faith of, you know, again, that's, the weight of the task that they had, but then in that time, just the faith that they demonstrate. I mean, it is a continual testimony to all of us as we are serving the Lord, maybe in ministry, maybe as, as a soul center, um, maybe just again, taking these courses and being enriched and, and studying an, an intro to praise ministry. And That's right. <laughs> it's so true. And I love that, you know, the first verse here, it's like, this was a 
a planned promise testimony. Like, you know, the journey to Bethlehem was a piece of the birth story, but this is something that, you know, we can now see the, the faithfulness, just like the, the candle is called, you know, the faithfulness of the Lord to deliver this blessing to us. So pretty cool to see. Um, and then the other piece, like I said, sometimes it's al also called the candle of peace. Um, this candle recalls that after all the division, destruction, and dispersion of the kingdom in the Old Testament, there might finally be peace on earth. Jesus is coming, and so is his kingdom of peace. And I think that does, you know, connect back to that faith piece, too. They really do um, go hand in hand. So this verse from John 14, peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not be I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say, I'm going away and I'm coming back to you. If you love me, you would be glad that I'm going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not say much more to you, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me, but he comes so that the world may learn that I love the Father and do exactly what my Father has commanded me. So that's, you know, Jesus speaking to his disciples, but just kind of, again, that promise yeah. and the, the peace that kind of transcends earthly understanding. It's just, there's a lot in that verse. Yeah, but. and I love, like, a lot of in the studies um, when I was doing my bachelor here, one of the topics that just has always kind of stuck with me is kind of looking at like, and Ray Vanderland gets into this a little bit, but it's like people thought that when he was going to come, he was going to bring this like this actual like governmental peace mm. and like this peace for, you know, there not to be persecution and right. this and that. And it's Political, just like, right. Yeah. This, this type of peace that we crave, we crave it in our world today. I mean, many of you are living in places where maybe there is a lot of chaos politically. There's a lot of chaos socially. And it, it's just like, we feel like Jesus just needs to fix these things. And mm. so one of the parts that I always remember is even when John the Baptist like sends that note being like, you know, where, where is that piece? And there, there's that yeah, part. And again, you yeah. guys can look it up, but it's just, it's so interesting that again, when we think about peace, it's not the piece that we are earthly wanting. Like it so is true. this eternal peace. And when we look at the second verse for unto us, a child is born to us, a son is given the government will be on his shoulders. And yep. so even speaking about <laughs> that, yes, it's not going to be necessarily what we look like. We know that God is completely in control mm -hmm. and he will be called wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, and the prince of peace. And so the more that we just dig in our relationship with God, the more that we find that peace, that does transcend this world, even though we know God has complete control over the government, complete control over everything that is going on in our communities and in our world. Amen. So beautiful. So we're excited to, you know, reflect on this, um, this, this upcoming week, um, and we'll have the next uh, candle next week. So as we continue on with Advent, make sure to stay tuned on the, the dashboard. dashboard. Yes. Yeah, we'll have the news posted today as your little gift and all the links we talked about will stay yes. there if yep. you want to access any of that. So thank you so much for tuning in and we thank are excited to hopefully see you guys next week. <laughs> thank you guys. God bless you all.